So guys, I'm back in Germany and um, that was a journey that was really absolutely fantastic. Um, what I'm talking about is the Nordic First Ed. The Nordic First Ed where at the last weekend the first congress and workshops in case of first ed training for first ed instructors, for educators in any kind and it was the first one Europe-wide. It was a congress with, if I guess right, more than 550 participants from all over Europe. There were guys from Spain, from Italy, from Denmark, Sweden, from Poland, from everywhere. What makes me critical is that I've been the only German participant. And actually you have to know, um, Denmark is a neighbor country of Germany. So there are points in case of first aid training and basic first aid training. There is nothing magical, not a black hole or something. We have to fix, we have to bring new wind, new type, new style in the basic first aid training. But to make sure that, or to bring this new style of this new way of first aid training to the public actually we have to make sure that every one of us europe wide and actually worldwide we have to make sure that every one of us is singing from the same song sheet so i would pretty much like to understand why i have been the only german participant and um that's pretty hard for me to understand because from my point of view uh, actually it has been uh, an event for for every kind of first ed instructor from uh, Red Cross, Good Samaritan, Johannita Unfallhilfe, everyone and I'm not in those organizations I do my own business and I do it actually for a reason. My main driver is um, to bring the knowledge about stop critical bleedings to the public. And it seems to be that in Germany I'm one of the only guys who do it in basic training. The joke is the International Committee of Red Cross has got it in their basic guidelines since 2000 and 13, 15, come on guys, take a look on the calendar. We get 2018 and the first quarter is actually done. So what the hell went that terribly wrong to those guys? I would pretty much like to understand it, but um, it's pretty hard for me to understand the people from my own country. And that's pretty hard for me. But uh, nevertheless, I will bring this knowledge to Germany, to Europe and um, I will help some colleagues. I've got contacts with people from Sweden, from Denmark, from uh, Great Britain. My, my girls, my, my wife and my two children, my two girls, decided that we will come back to, um, to Copenhagen for sure for the next part of the Nordic first ed. So, because from my point of view it was, was a brilliant event, it was pretty good organized. There were brilliant speakers in this case. So my special thanks to Hanna Hubach from uh, About Learning in Denmark. My special thanks my special thanks to Brigadier Timothy Hodges. My special thanks also to Thomas Egesborg Pedersen for the organization. I think he's one of the main forces 
behind the project to um, make the Nordic First Aid the, the event that it was and that it will be in the next year, I hope. Knock on wood. Further on, my special thanks go to um, Adam Patterson from AP Services, to uh, Pierre Kördel from Ferno, to Seth Hendricks from Fireware. It was absolutely a pleasure to come together with you guys and I hope we see us again in the next year. See you then, see you there. Thank you so much, guys. Bye.